the Instagram shadow ban. It can be a nightmare, but I think I've cracked it. Hey YouTube people, Ethan here. Just got a quick juicy one for you today about shadow banning on Instagram. So, as any of you who are following me know, uh, my posts, my carousel posts have been doing very, very poorly of late and so have some of my friends and we've been discussing a lot of these theories and I've done a lot of research now recently into it because I've spent a load of time and effort making this incredible post and I did very, very poorly. Got zero, zero results in the hashtag. So I'm like, why is this? Well, I think I've discovered the answer. So listen up and I will reveal what I have discovered. So we all know that there is an AI that is looking at the images that is being posted. They're using image recognition and text recognition to see what content is being posted. And using this AI inside of their big black box, inside of its neural net, nobody knows what really is going on. But inside of that, it's going to come out with a number between 0 and 1. And depending on the scale of that number, it will determine how... Uh, bad or good that post is and at the threshold that it crosses if it crosses over a threshold then that content is deemed not appropriate for Instagram and it will then shadow ban you now the threshold has changed over the years uh, so it used to be quite high and only things that shadow banned were things that violated their terms of service but recently it's become really tight and restrictive and it's removing so much or restricting so much it's not removing the content but it's still there but it doesn't share it out there but th the bad thing about it is it's not just that one post that it stops growing it is all of your posts for the next period of time and it can be up to two weeks and it depends also on your content and your p how severe you have broken or gone over that threshold rather how severely you've gone over that threshold and your goodness factor. So everybody knows about the goodness factor. The goodness factor is a score that Instagram gives to your page, depending on how well you are doing on the platform. And not in terms of followers, but like how good you, you are and how, like, how well you play by the rules, etc. And if you're really, really good, you can absorb more of this threshold. Your threshold essentially gets raised for you. And your punishment is also less severe, so it may only punish that one post, and your next post will be fine. But if you've got a very low goodness factor, then multiple posts will be punished. And if you do post something, it will also lower something that is bad for it. It will lower your goodness score. And so if you lower it, keep on doing it, you keep on lowering it. And that was the case for me. I have kept on triggering this uh, this threshold. I've kept on putting myself in the bad books, basically putting myself in detention for Instagram and I keep on doing it. I keep on doing things that it doesn't like. For example, the posts for me that have triggered this uh, shadow banning effect on my own account have been fire, gunshots and bullet holes, blood from a vampire post, swear words, and then I also know there's other things like extreme graphic images and uh, nudity of any kind. It really doesn't like. And there's loads of other ones. You know, nobody really knows what triggers it because it's an AI, it's a machine. And then the results can last up to two weeks depending on how well you're doing. So the best thing for you guys if you're trying to grow on the platform is to stay squeaky clean. Don't do anything that may trigger this shadow banning effect. And then you just have to wait it out. It could be a few days or it could be up to two weeks. It depends case by case. <clears throat> and like I was saying, it's like I've been in detention and I keep throwing paper at the teacher and I so I keep on staying in detention. And all I've got to do is wait my time out and then I'll be able to go back into the hashtags. That's the only cure. People are saying you can do it quicker. There is no other way around it. You just have to wait it out. So slow down your posting, take a break from Instagram for a few days, do some test posts, do some test carousels and see when you start to gain the algorithm's favor again. At which point you can start going fire at it again and start posting that fantastic content, that valuable content every single day. Hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you've got anything to add or any other theories in the comments. Would love to hear what your thoughts are on the matter. Have a good one.